Ken surfs here, and it's time for a, well, it's a Tuesday shave. It's not really a midweek shave, but it's close enough, right? We're almost halfway there through the week. Uh, hope you guys have been having a great week. Uh, been busy at work. That's why uh, this is the first time I'm doing my shaves. I'm usually getting home at 5.30 or 6, going to the gym. Next thing I know, it's 6.30, having dinner. 7 o'clock, and I'm passed out, 8.30. <laughs> and get up at 5 o'clock the next morning and do it all over. Well, today I had a mail call from the good folks that I've just dropped all over the ground. The good folks at Rocky Mountain Barber Company. Got some cool samples here and actually uh, some cool stickers. And I've been uh, actually, I'm going to put these stickers on uh, my uh, hydro flasks because I really, uh, I don't know, it seems to be the thing to do. I can spot my hydro flask right in the crowd with uh, all these shaving stickers on. So I'm going to be putting those away and I got two soaps. Uh, one's a, what is a cedar spice shave soap, but this one, I could smell this one, the minute it's sealed. I could smell that when I opened the box. Spearmint, oh man, this ought to be good. Let's get set up a little bit here. All right, see if we can open this. Uh, didn't have my knife on me. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, I can smell this right away. Spearmint. Oh, man. Smells like Wrigley's uh, chewing gum. I'm keeping my eye on this uh, stupid mount. I have not glued it yet. It's still suction cupped. I meant to do it. I haven't done it. So hopefully this thing doesn't fall off during the shave. I'm also going to be using, for the first time, uh, again, uh, one of my friends uh, who watch sent this to me, and I said, let me thank you. And he goes, no, 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 an anonymous subscriber. So he's the one who gave me the uh, green hawk, and he also gave me... There it goes. All right. Ah. See, if I glue it, it's going to take a while. I gotta think of how to support this. Give me a minute. All right, I've kind of rigged this. Hopefully, I've got I've got one of those expandable mirrors, you know, that uh, for uh, zoom. I've got that actually holding this up. So we'll see if it works. Ah, I'm gonna glue this thing permanently tonight. So anyway, it's the open comb. He said he found it uh, not to his liking, and I said, well, I will give it a shot with one of my blades. My favorite blade, a lot of you ask, the Gillette Wilkinson Sword from India in the Saloon Pack. Let's put this in. I hate that when, uh, <laughs> that stupid thing falls. All right. Locking it in. I didn't load it, so there you go. Didn't. And lock this down. Yeah, open combs are always going to be more aggressive than closed combs. Still got, could still grab that blade if I want to. Tiny little bit of overhang. Today's brush. I watched uh, Paul H. films early years ago, and he was using this model, Omega. And I go, man, I gotta have this. Took me a while. I got it. I used the heck out of it. It's a bore brush. So I'm gonna soak the bore brush in here for a minute as we are talking. Somebody was asking, hey, how's the Mustang? I have a 1965 Mustang Coupe with a 1968 302 high performance motor in it. 68, they had a higher compression got that in there by accident. But I've had that car since 1980, since I was in college. And uh, I take it out every once in a while. So here it is. I took it out. Somebody asked how it's doing. Here it is. It's doing. Oh, 
you see, if I shave every day, or if I film every day, I don't have much growth, and I've got some growth here. If I take a credit card and do this, you'd hear it go, Ch -ch 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 -ch. all right, Rocky Mountain. Oh, man, it smells just like Wrigley Spearmint gum. All right. I'm going to just lather it right. Oh. A good lather. You've seen me use uh, use their products before. I'm looking at all the cool little packets. Sandalwood. Uh, the Rocky Mountain Barber Company. It's overflowing. The pour brush is a little stiffer than the synthetics and the badger. So it really works it into your beard. For those of you who are Arnold Schwarzenegger fans, Commando and Predator fans, his movies from the 80s, the watch he wore in that movie, Seiko has just re-released. And it's 500 bucks, but the hang tags on some of those Seikos are always 500 bucks. Then you can end up getting it for 200 or 250. But it's pre-order, so they haven't came out yet, but that watch is coming out and that's gonna be next on my wrist. This is the Planet Ocean, but I am going to use some of my OT money this month. I just want to wait. I hate paying 500 bucks for this watch. So uh, hopefully when it comes out and goes on sale everywhere, uh, it'll be at a little more reasonable price. This has sharp knurling, but it's vertical. So my fingers could slip. So we'll see. All right. So that was the wristwatch check. Yeah, I can feel this open comb working very well. Someone said my next razor, they're using a 34C, uh, is going to be the 37 of the 39C, which is the slant. And that is more aggressive, in my opinion, my humble opinion, than the 34C, the closed comb razors. The slants are a little more aggressive. Next step up are the open combs. Get more blade coverage on your skin, but it wipes out the, uh, the beard much quicker. And having a good soap really helps. A lot of you are saying, hey, I'm trying, uh, I'm trying different soaps and uh, you need a good soap. I can tell I don't work for this company I don't have a stake in this company, Rocky Mountain Barber. This one's working good for me. So I'll put a link to their site. Damn, it smells like chewing gum, guys. In the video here, so if you're interested, you can check them out. Somebody wrote on one of the previous videos, not another razor from Global Shave, Ken. But they keep cranking out DE razors for us wet shavers. So I'm trying them out. So if you don't like a big variety of wet shaving products that are coming out quite often, then I can understand. But uh, hey, the more wet shaving products, the more DE razors out there there are, the more the other competitors are going to notice and the more they're going to release. So. I can't hold it against Global Shave Club because they come out with a new razor uh, once every few months. I just know that's one more razor on the market and one more chance for people to go away from cartridge and go to the DE. My opinion. Of course. Not that it means anything. I was trying to think of some of the other comments. You yeah, guys had some funny ones. Oh, you, you, there's one gent out there, a couple of you. They want, <laughs> they want me to take Irish Spring soap. You know, Irish Spring deodorant soap. 
to shave with it. And I asked them, I go, well, have you done it? I mean, you, sure, my dad used to shave with bar of soap, whatever was handy. Dove, Dial, Irish Spring, he's done it. If you guys really want to see that, I'll do it, but, uh, there's so many cool soaps out there. But maybe you guys just like Irish Spring. But one gen keeps asking, and I'm not putting you off. I just haven't thought about it yet. Doing a bar of soap. So first time using this soap, and first time using this razor, and usually that can be a catastrophe, guys. One good thing about this, once I shift the angle, it takes away the exposure a little bit to your skin. There's another gent, just started wet shaving. He says every time he uses alcohol-based aftershave, he gets irritated. That's understandable. So there's Nivea is available everywhere. There's some good bombs out there. And I have a razor on its way from Canada. The Crave, I think it's the Crave. It's ordered, it's on its way. Just shipped. So I don't know how long it's going to take to get here from Canada, but uh, I'm eager to try that one out. You can cut your lip easy with an open comb. Very easy. But if mastered, Gives you a hell of a shave. And this was a gift. So I'm not quite sure what these ones run. You guys know, maybe you could put it in the comments here because a lot of people read everybody's comments and I read them. soap on my ear. All right. Oh, it smells good. A nice scented, good performing soap. Ah, forgive the angle. This next video I shoot will not have this angle anymore. I won't have this thing all half-assed up here. It'll be mounted good again, hopefully permanently. Now my wife will be happy. I'm just going to take her out to dinner. We're going to the gym. Oh, man, it's nice when the wife wants you to go to the gym every night. It's fun. I got someone to hang out with. I put on my headphones. I just run on that doggone treadmill. Then we're going to go to dinner, so now she should not complain. Good soap, guys. No cuts. Good razor. No cuts. A good combo for me with that blade. All right. Now, I wanted something spicy, minty. Margaritas in the Arctic. I'm going to feel this. Oh. Just smells good. A super cold, cold soap and aftershave. And as I recall, a good burn. Very good burn. Ooh. I feel like that guy on uh, Home Alone. Oh, man. Macaulay. Whew. Nice. All right, I'm probably going to see you before I go to the flicks this weekend, man. I'm going to go check out Ad Astra, which I didn't know. Uh, Latin for To the Stars with uh, Brad Pitt. I love space movies. Those are uh, 
you know, those are always pretty darn cool. So, uh, looking forward to that. Wow, I can still feel this burning, guys. Good shave, though. I'm going to be the freshest smelling butthead at that gym today. <laughs> on the treadmill. All right, everybody. We'll see you again real soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you uh, again, anonymous friend. Uh, I really appreciate that. It worked great for me. This is going into my rotation. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And thank you, good folks. Rocky Mountain Shaving Barber Company. I keep saying shaving. Rocky Mountain Barber Company. What a nice, nice soap. That's the wife coming home right now. I could not have timed this more better. All right, guys. See you real soon.